hello fam how are you doing i hope you're all doing okay i'm also okay thank you so much so much so much for your support we are not road to 3000 subscribers so kindly if you have not subscribed to this channel consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell so anytime i upload a new video you will always get notified that i have uploaded a new video and kindly give this video a like share and don't forget to comment what you think about the video so in today's video we are going to listen to the brother to pm the prime minister of jamaica but not the bio, the biological brother we all have those brothers yeah a brother from another mother so we are going to listen to these kind words that he's trying to share with Usain Bolt if you don't know Usain Bolt he is a former Jamaican sprinter the goat yeah he is the he's known widely as the goat guys so he's tried the brother to the PM is trying to share some kind wisdom with him so let's listen to the video see what he's trying to tell Usain Bolt then we can come later with the comments kindly watch till the end to know what's going on the goat you have been the greatest biological specimen ever grace track and field in my life you saying i don't believe i'll ever see another specimen that will grace track and field the way you did it you are the goat the greatest of all time this video is about how them chop you because while you were running and bringing glory to Jamaica and the world, there were a few who were sitting at the side and said, tell you what, hey, it's time to eat a food. Meaning that they have to get paid off your greatness. You see me? My brother, you got chopped, scammed by a few elites who understand the system that you don't. As you age, your brand will lose luster. It will lose effectiveness. And guess what? Nobody will know you. As the generation shift, you will become unrecognizable. So therefore, my brother, run while you have the time. Run while you have the fame. Run while you have the name. You say, my brother, stop sitting down in Jamaica and talk about you loyal. It's a global rule. They are not loyal to you. All they want to do is rip you off. So you said, I know the man and chop you. I know you got scammed. And it feels bad to lose 12 million US dollars. And your griping is painful. But you see, the Bible says, there's safety in the midst of wise counsel. Glenn Mills was a great counselor to build your body. But you never had no mentor and counselor to build your mind. So therefore, when you left track and field, and even during track and field, you never have the experience or know-how how to manage that kind of money. And because you don't know how to manage that money, yo, remember, whenever the lion hunt, you say, the hyenas are ready to steal. So in this video, you say, I'm going to try to argue the point that, tell you what, although you've lost $12 million, you basically can gain a billion dollars but you have to shift your mindset your mindset determines your asset and your attitude determines your altitude tell them sell SSL assets and free up some money but it seems like you now get back your 12 million you see my brethren and my countryman it is wise when a man rises to a certain economic level that he move away from the people he grew up around or people with certain kind of thinking so you moved up now from the average man and you went up to uptown now, around uptown people, rich people, powerful people. But what you fail to understand, you saying that uptown people literally own the most of Jamaica. They are coming from the colonial class, the planter class, and basically the British class. And what you fail to understand that when you go further uptown, the people complexion are lighter. And because the complexion are lack and feel, and I believe maybe other sports. But similar to me, you say both, as black men, we are programmed to be mentally weak. Facing point. 
We are programmed literally to hate ourselves. This is why many artists would sing songs that they love the brown in. This is why when many of them move up, they go and marry or date a lighter skinned woman. You see it all the time. This is why our youths kill each other so much because we are programmed to hate each other. So what's happening today is what was happening on the plantation. There's a saying you saying, the best place to hide money from black people is to put it in a book. Also, they say the best way to exploit a black person is to let them sign a contract without proper oversight. You saying, Puma signed a deal with you. I don't know what percentage you get off each shoes that been sold, I don't know. I know when I look at Michael Jordan contract, in 1987, Michael Jordan will get 5% off each shoes sold. Michael Jordan's sales in Nike now is 11% of Nike. And Michael Jordan last year, I believe he made about 300 million US dollars. Now, based on my comparison, you saying you are greater than Michael Jordan, you dominate three Olympics, and you have been global. However, the man them chop you. Why? If you have been greater than Michael Jordan and you have global appeal, how come I don't see a Puma shoes with a lightning logo on it where you maybe get 10% off every sales? Talk to me, you saying. And when I went online, you saying, all I saw is the same, what they call it, sailor man shoes. You know, the one there where it has a Jamaican flag and you don't have many varieties. That's the shoe I saw. What happened to the different releases like what Michael Jordan has? Every year you were saying you should have a different release. How come it's only the same design you have when you have accomplished greater than Michael Jordan? And you saying Bolt, Bridgen, what are your shoes there? What are your shoes there, you saying Bolt? I don't say none of your shoes there in a Puma store. So therefore, my brother, I am critiquing you again. I pick up you again, although I am Pick on you, but be happy. Pick on you because somebody have to pick on you. <laughs> if you look at Michael Jordan, he has the Jumpman separate from Nike, and the sales are big on the Jumpman. So where's the lightning strike from the Puma brand in all the stores? What about your apparels, your shorts, your clothing? You say, if you don't have your separate brand and logo and control the rights to your lightning strike, then you get chop brethren. The man them chop you. So you sit down in Jamaica and SSL chop you 12 million US dollars and you gripe him. Yes, you're griping because a lot of money. But look at it, you saying bold, you've been chopped billions of dollars. Billions of dollars. Think about it. You have been the greatest. So how come we don't see all of those shoes just like MJ shoes all over the place? It is very painful to know that they chopped you $12 million. It is very painful to know they ripped you off. The Jamaican government is asking for patience amid the unease surrounding the Stocks and Securities Limited SSL fraud case. The appeal follows a Glena story on Thursday, which noted the frustration of eight-time Olympic champion Usain Bolt, whose company's account was allegedly defrauded of 12.7 million US dollars. More than 200 clients have been affected. Bolt's attorney Linton Gordon said the former athlete is shocked and disappointed at what he says is the lack of updates. But Usain, in the midst of that sad story, that pity party, I have not seen you come out and introduced your new Puma release. While you're hurting financially, my brother, the world is empathizing with your ripoff. In the meantime, you saying, what you fail to understand, there is no bad publicity. So while you're having a pity party talking about the ripoff of the country, man, you saying you have not introduced your new shoe line which would have made you about a hundred million dollars in the same time. Therefore, the deal you have with Puma is not a good deal. They are chopping you. Yeah, let me talk about that. Because every year you should have a new release. Don't you see Apple have a new release every year? Don't you see Samsung have a new release every year? Don't you see Nike have a new release every year? Don't you see Jordans have a new release? So how come you the greatest, the GOAT, 
have no new release shoes every year. Somebody's chopping you, my brother. I'm talking truth. Think about it, Usain. Usain. Think about your branding, Bridging. Think about your branding. Your branding is so powerful and so global. And you were there whining about $12 million when you got chopped a billion dollars somewhere from the big company who has not given you an exclusive right to have your brand a sell like Michael Jordan shoes. What's going on right there? Talk to me, you say. Look at it from a different point of view. You, you saying, have won about three or four gold medals in London. You saying, my brother, how come you don't have a penthouse condominium overlooking the city of London? Talk to me, you saying. You now have gone to China and won so much brand you have and the global appeal and the billion dollars you have not made and can make should have given you condominiums all over those places. So you saying every year you go down and spend a month and show off your brands. Show off your brands and you make a lot of money, you saying. You saying. Remember, Africa has 1.5 billion people. And by 2050, Africa will have 2.5 billion people. You saying, why don't you come down to Rwanda, you saying? Rwanda has a 8% GDP growth for the past seven years. You saying you can buy a nice, beautiful condominium or a nice house overlooking Ribera and overlooking Yami Rambo, the beautiful night lights like the African Beverly Hills. Talk to me, you saying. And if you come there, and many other athletes need to come down to Africa, because what happens? You need to inspire. Hired African youths, they need inspiration. You guys are so caught up in the Western world and become so island minded. That is why they're chopping you guys, they're scamming you guys because you guys have become comfortable. You said, My brother, I just saw Michael Jordan with his $70 million jet, private jet. You said, How come you got no private jet? Think about it, you said. You got no brand release every year. Michael Jordan have various styles. Only one style or two styles of you I saw. Because what you say, as a global brand, someone has compartmentalized you and regulated you to an island brand. Somebody has regulated you to a countryman. So what happened there, they are pigeonholed you into an island and a western part when everything is global. Look at all of those Fortune 500 companies. Where do they make most of their wealth? Overseas, my brother. Overseas. And you are there comfortable in the island. Make them chopping you and crying over $12 million when you can make a billion. Michael Jordan 5% with Nike in 1987, he's still getting chopped. I believe 10 and 50% is a good deal to get off every shoes that has been sold by Nike. I believe that's a good deal. I don't know how much you got or if you ever got any, but the women hear you squealing, that means that you don't have a million dollar deal. It's your franchises. So, KFC, Dominic, Jamaica, where's your franchise? You see what I say? So therefore, you complain on social media, say, boy, they're chopping the countryman and they're robbing you and so forth. But they have a right to. Because you have become passive, you say. You don't really have any backbone when it comes to mental fortitude and the demand what you want. That is why the man they put you in dress and test you and know say so you'll be broken. Because a real man would have stepped up and demand that. Look at Federer. Look at Federer lifestyle. Look at Messi lifestyle. Look at Ronaldo's lifestyle. Look at all of them great white athlete lifestyle. Them have them yacht, them have boat, them they are Dubai, they have Monaco, them are all them places. You stuck up in a Jamaica, say you loyal. Are they loyal to you? The Jamaicans are not loyal to you. Me a Jamaican, you are a Jamaican. Are the Jamaicans loyal to you? If they were loyal to you, they would never chop you. If they were loyal to you, they got your money already. But did they get your money? You don't get no money. You know, Sammy, the government are working for you. When you really look at it, wholeness sold his share before SSL got collapsed. I don't know if he got some insider information, but you know how the political thing work. You know? But what happened is that I don't believe you're going to get back your money. So you have to look and reassess yourself and say, how do I build back my empire? Go talk to Shaqu Shaquille O'Neal. Look how many franchises Shaq own. Shaq owned so many franchises and theaters all over America making a killing. Why don't you go talk to them? The Bible says there is safety in the midst of wise counsel. You say, come out of your comfort zone. That's why the man might chop you. You talk about your countryman. Countryman what? 
It doesn't matter where you're coming from. Look where leeching come from. Leeching come from come to Jamaica now. But leeching step out and come to Canada and build him empire. Have you ever had a chance to go and talk with leeching? You understand me? You have such global brand and you don't get a ball about $12 million when you're losing a billion dollars. So my dear brother, take some time and go and have a conversation with Michael Jordan. You need proper advice how to establish your global brand. Have a meeting with Magic Johnson. Have a meeting with Shaquille O'Neal. You need to come out of the island box, you say. So you say, my brother, how come you're physically strong and become mentally weak, weird? You are missing out on big money. You should be flying on your corporate jet and spending a month in Hong Kong, a month in Africa, a month in Brazil, a month in London and establish your brand more. And in the meantime, you're exposing your children how the rich and powerful function. There is no bad publicity, none at all. What you need to do every year, you need to show your new release of brand shoes and fly to different countries and expose it so you can make your money. You as the GOAT, you've been silent and I don't like that. Because guess what now? The Olympic come you should stand up and say, nah, the Olympic board need to pay every winner for the 100 meter a million dollars. The second one need to get half a million dollars. You have a voice and you need to use it to help others to get paid. You stay there silent, you Saint Bolt. Shame on you. I love you, my brother. You need to have some backbone. You're an ambassador. Stop thinking about you and try to help the other youths them. Because they don't know. The Olympic Committee need to pay them more. The Diamond League is paying them peanuts while the, the, the organizers are making the money. Is that fair you saying? So my brother, I hope you listen to this blog. And please, I want to send it to you saying. It is not to condemn you saying. It's for him to look within himself and know that they chop him because he's not paying attention. He got comfortable and he trusts them too much. Reassess your contract. And start get places all over the world and start to expand your brand and make your money. And in the meantime, you said, my brother, remember, I can be a consultant. When you make a billion, you say, or maybe half a billion dollars, I only need 10 million. Me not greedy. Just give me 10 million, and I'll turn over that 10 million into 100 million. Trust me, you say, he's a rich man. You know, you have restaurants. I believe you're building an apartment, but that's smart stuff, you say. You seeing, you are a global brand, a global icon. You seeing, if I were you, I'd look at my Puma contract very well. I'd get an expert. I would get maybe a team from the US, Michael Jordan, and big people, and look at my contract. And see if it's not pleasing, would I make a move? Because guess what? Michael Jordan stopped playing basketball many years ago. But look at Michael Jordan, he's wealthy. Although I said he's getting chopped because if he's still at the 5%, he's getting chopped because the more your demand comes for your goods, you need to increase your, your percentage rate of what you get. Although Nike is manufacturing them. Now think about this, you said. If your contract with Puma is up at a certain time, you need to start to look at your global audience. You can talk with Nike, maybe you're not running again, so maybe Nike wouldn't take you. But let me say this to you, you said. China has 1.4 billion people, Bridget. China has 1.4 billion people. The Chinese love you. The Asians love you. You know, we're programmed with the Western world and believe that everything in the Western world is the all and in all. We believe that there's no money anywhere in the world than in the West. China is worth about 19 trillion. A whole lot of money in China. A whole lot of money in Asia. Look at Kyrie Irving when he said something anti-Semitic and Nike dropped him. Kyrie Irving signed up with Anta. You look at your deal with Ni uh, Puma and say, is this worth it? Or if you buy a house in Singapore and start to head over to China there and do a deal with them and do some exhibition and so forth. Think of how many millions and billions of dollars you'll make, you say. Think about that. Where is your athletic drink like Gatorade? Where is your athletic drink? There's so many things you can market, you saying. But Jamaica is small. It's a small place, you saying. You can only go so far, and every time you make your money, them chop you. You need to start to go global, Virgin. Have you gone to Dubai? Have you gone to Bahrain? Have you gone to Qatar? 
when you look at it, so brethren, come out of your comfort zone. You know that comfort is the enemy to success and start limiting yourself and ball about $12 million attacks about them chap countrymen and them foolish is there. Brethren, get out of your comfort zone and start to move your brand elsewhere. You know what I mean? You could have a company already, a Chinese manufacturer, make all your apparel then, brethren. Okay, now that you have watched, you have listened to his words. What do you think? Does he make sense? On my side, I think he makes a lot of sense. When you're trending, use that time. I even see with our celebrities here in Kenya, I told them in Kenya, in East Africa, someone will come up with a trend, someone will trend for a week, two weeks, they're forgotten. But when you come up with something, when you, while you are trending, you come up with something, I bet people remember you. There are people who trended when this year, at the beginning of this year, we forgot about them. But there are those ones who came up with good ideas after trending. We still remember them and they are still there. So I think his message is so, so nice. And I think you send bold if you have to listen to this message kindly take notes and he is also trying to tell him like michael jordan you see with the sign you see with the shoes oh my god he still get he's still being paid yeah so he made use of it he made use of it so yes you have been scammed which is a sad thing but you have to look for a way I need to make this money back. I have to bring this money back. Into a big brand. You are the God. Just as he said. So I think he's just spitting the truth. Just telling you the truth. You have to make use of it. When you're growing. The brand is going down. 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 And new people are coming up. So, what are people going to remember you with? Or how are you going to make money at that time? So, this is a very nice advice. You have a chance. Listen to him as a brother. Don't take this as a critic. Uh, why did you come to social media to rant? No, 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 no. Just take it as an advice. It's a very, very nice advice. And I think it's going to help you somewhere. We want to see. He, he also said something. They'll never want to see this color doing well. They will want to pin you down. Just pull your eyes like this one is going well, this one is going well. Now you see this come to 12 US dollars, 12 million US dollars. That's a lot of money. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of money. So I think this is a very nice advice. I love it. For sure, I love it. If I were you, I'll take this serious. If I were you, I really, really take this thing serious. Get that 10% of every cell. Wake up, you seem bold and listen to this. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have anything that you want to comment in the comment section, kindly do that and kindly keep it res respect full yes see you in the next video right now it's just a bye